This is why you need to be in the local church. I'll tell you right now, it's why you need to be in the local church. This online thing really is a distant, distant, distant second. And by the way, I'll tell you something about online. It's fantasy world. It is. If you're watching services online, everything you do online, you're given over to social media and all of that. And I use it, and there's nothing wrong with using it in its perspective. Um, but you know what? If, you, if, you, if you're refusing to give up your material possessions and what you have, and you know, you're comfortable tuning in online, that's not church. I'll tell you right now, online is not church. It's not church. You, know? you don't learn to love each other online. You have fake relationships because you don't see them in the flesh. You know what? My Savior came in the flesh. He was manifest in the flesh. He ministered in the flesh, not as some pixelated image on a screen. That's Antichrist, actually. I know we go online, but that's really Antichrist. That's really leading to the beast and the mark of the beast and the image of the beast. All of it. Yeah, in the local church, you learn to love each other, bear each other's burdens, forbear one another, and you develop real relationships. We develop real relationships. I develop real relationships with the men, not only here when we, when we fellowship, but we fellowship out there. And we have a bond with each other. And you can't experience that online. You can't. I know some of these things are not easy, especially for those tuning in online. But I hope it convicts you. I know there's a dearth of good churches, but you know what? If you have a desire to get in one, God may require you, first of all, to move. Take that leap of faith and move. And He will lead you to one.